The Department of Budget and Management or DBM has released another special allotment released order, SARO, for the funding of the existing contract for the attack helicopter acquisition project of the Philippine Air Force. One might ask, does the Philippine Air Force have other attack helicopters to procure? The answer is no. This is to fund the T-129 ATAK helicopters that the Philippine Air Force ordered from Turkish Aerospace Industries that come with six units, and a project price of PHP 13.7 billion. Take note that this is funded through Multi-Year Obligations Authority or MYOA, therefore the payment comes in piecemeal. The Department of Budget and Management has released a sorrow worth PHP 4,804,800,000.00 related to the attack helicopter acquisition project of the Philippine Air Force. Contrary to reports on another page, this amount is the fourth and final installment worth around 35% of the total project cost. Summing up the four payments made by the DBM, it has a total of around PHP 13.8 billion. 25% in 2022, 25% in 2021, 15% in 2020, as indicated in the project's terms of reference attached to the contract. While the Philippine Air Force plans to procure additional T-129B ATAK attack helicopters, it is not yet happening at this time. Sorry to burst everyone's bubble. This is because the project has not been finalized yet and will only be included in Horizon 3 phase after failing to reach the award by the end of 2022. This payment is a sign that the delivery of the final two T-129 BATAK attack helicopters to the Philippine Air Force may happen very soon.